Hi everyone! Welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Alphabet Soup, we choose a letter from the alphabet and we draw food that starts with that letter. So let's draw! Today's letter is the letter L. L is for lemon. So today I'm going to show you how to draw this cute little lemonade with a lemon next to him. So let's begin! This is what you'll need for today's drawing lesson. You're going to need a piece of paper, this is a dollar store drawing pad. It's 11 inches by eight and a half inches. I've turned it around so it's longer up and down. You're going to need a pencil. You're going to need an eraser. We will be using our eraser today because we're going to be drawing overlapping shapes. So we're going to want to erase some of the things that we're drawing. If you have an old paintbrush that you haven't used for painting, this is really good for brushing off dust and little pieces of coloring pencil. And we're going to need color. Today our main color is going to be yellow. We'll need some green. If you have a pink or a red or a purple, let's use that. That'll be for the tongue. And you're going to need black. You can either use a black coloring pencil or you can use a fine tip marker. That's what I'm going to be using. So let's clear everything off and start drawing. First, we're going to write out the word lemon. So let's start with a capital L and a small L, which is just a line really. So let's draw lemon, capital L, E, M O N L is for lemon and you can make delicious lemonade with lemons so that's what we're going to draw today. I'm going to draw my glass about this big, about this big, okay, about the size of my hand. So I'm going to start by drawing a straight line but not quite straight up and down. I'm going to slant it a little bit but not too much. Just watch what I do here. Okay? Just slant it a little bit and the same thing on this side here. Just slightly, slightly slanted. And for the bottom we're going to draw a line but not straight across. It's going to come come kind of in a roundish shape like that. And the same thing on the top, a little roundish shape like this and a little round shape like this for the top of the glass. Okay, so now we're going to draw our slice of lemon. I want you to just draw a circle right at the edge of the glass here. Mine's a little lopsided, but that's okay. <laughs> and this is where you're going to need your eraser. You see all of this inside the circle? I want you to erase all of that corner of the glass, okay? Just erase all that. And if you accidentally erase part of your circle, don't worry about it you can just go back and fill it in again. I'm just going to make sure it's really well erased there. There we go. And I did erase part of my circle and part of my glass, so I'm just going back in and filling that in. There. Now, Inside of this circle, we're going to draw another circle and it's going to be close to the edge like this. This is going to be the rind of the lemon. Not too skinny, but not too fat either. Okay. Now inside here, I just want you to draw a small circle. 
and from the edge of that small circle watch I'm drawing little kind of triangle shapes like this. That's the inside part of the lemon. It doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Now let's draw the liquid part. So we're just going to draw a few little squiggly lines at the top of the glass and that'll just show us that we've got some lemonade in that glass. Let's give it a face. Let's make some oval eyes, some nice big egg-shaped eyes. And another little oval on the inside near the bottom. And we'll do that again for the second eye. There we go. And let's give him a big smile. <laughs> and a little tongue sticking out because he's delicious. Okay. And we'll give him some arms too because he's a very happy glass of lemonade. Just like this. And then three little fingers. Now let's draw a lemon. Now watch what I'm doing. I'm going to overlap the glass. I'm going to start at the top, around, with a little bump at the end, and then up like this. And we're going to draw a little leaf on top. And this is going to overlap on the lemon too. So a leaf like this, and around like that. So what I'd like you to do is take your eraser and erase these two lines here and this line here. Okay? So watch. Just erase and again, just like up here, if you accidentally erased part of the lemon, all you have to do is go back in and draw it in. See, I erased it. So I'm going to go back in with my pencil and draw it in. And I erased a little bit of the glass there too. And now I want to erase this little line here in the middle of the leaf. And I'm sure I'm going to erase some of the leaf too. But I'm just going to draw it right back in. Okay. Now I'm going to draw in the rest of the lemon here that I erased. And I'm going to put that leaf back in. There we go. And in the middle of the leaf, there's just a little line like that. Now on top of the lemon, I want you to just very lightly, I'm going to draw it hard so you could see it, but just draw a little kind of, a little shape. It doesn't have to be anything special, just a little kind of squiggly shape, shape there because we're going to be putting more color onto the most of the lemon and less color here so it looks like a highlight. But when we get to that, I'll let you know. Okay, so our lemon is all drawn out. Now we can start to color. Let's start with our yellow because we're going to be using a lot of yellow. Why don't we start with our lemon wedge here? What I want you to color in yellow is the whole outside part here. That's the rind. And also all of the inside here, but leave that little circle white. Okay? So let's begin. Let's just color in the whole thing except for that little circle. If you're using coloring pencils, or even if you're using crayons for this lesson, don't forget to turn once in a while. That way you're not going to break the tip and you're not going to wear down your pencil or your crayon on one side. I 
and don't press too hard if you're using coloring pencils. You don't have to. If you press too hard, you could break your tip, the tip of your pencil, you could break it. And also your hand can get tired. We don't want our hand to get tired, right? We want to enjoy what we're doing because drawing and art is a lot of fun. So I'm just filling in the entire lemon wedge except for that little circle. Don't forget to turn your pencil once in a while. This is a great drawing to do during the summer. I love lemonade in the summer. Okay, I'm gonna go back and I'm going to put in a second layer. Turning my pencil. Second layer all over, over the whole lemon. We're gonna be using our yellow a lot today, so you may have to stop to go and sharpen it. But if you don't press too hard, you may get away with not having to stop and sharpen. Don't forget to turn your pencil once in a while. When you see me going like this with my hand, it's usually because I'm flipping my pencil around. <laughs> so that's how often I do it. Because I don't want to have to buy a lot of art supplies because everything is so expensive now. I want my supplies to last a long time. You might hear some banging once in a while because my neighbor is still outside building his house and he's hammering away. And my dog Jack is snoring. <laughs> there we go. So my lemon wedge is all done. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill in yellow in the lemonade. The only thing I want you to be careful of is don't get any yellow in the eyes or on the tongue or on the top of the glass. Just fill in the whole area where there's lemonade, but not the tongue or the eyes, okay? I'm just being very careful not to get any yellow on the top here. And I'm turning my pencil once in a while. My dog is really, really out. <laughs> He's snoring very loud. He just opened his eyes and looked at me. <laughs> now I'm being very careful around the eyes so that I don't get any yellow in there. If you do, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. We're not trying to be perfectionists, right? I always say that in my videos. I don't want you to think that you have to do it perfectly, perfectly the way I do it. Because I want you to learn techniques and learn patience while you're coloring and drawing because if you rush through something, you could, you might make a mistake that you don't like and 
you might not enjoy the process and I want you to enjoy what you're doing. Now I'm going to be careful not to get any yellow in the tongue. The way I color is I color in circles like this. I don't like to use straight lines because I find that they show. Unless I want them to specifically show, I don't, I don't like seeing straight lines. And you know, when you get to the bottom where the lemon is, you can start filling that in too. The whole thing except for the leaf. Even that little spot there that I was showing you. I want you to fill all that in with yellow except for the leaf. So you don't have to be too careful here. You can just go right into the lemon. Last summer, I made an amazing lemon ice cream pie. It was so good. Look at this. I'm going to show you a picture. If you like lemon, you're going to drool over this. <laughs> This was so good. And I will leave the recipe link in the description below in case mom and dad are watching and they want to try making it because it is so good. Ice cream and oh my gosh. Delicious, delicious, delicious. But very rich, not something you can eat too often. It's a good treat once in a while though. All right, how are you guys doing? I've got my first layer down here and I'm gonna put in a second layer. Now all that means, I've mentioned this before, as, uh, layers are just the amount of times that you color over it. If we did one layer here if we color over it a second time, it's a second layer. You can put two, three, four, five, as many layers as you like. At some point though, you won't be able to put any more layers because it won't make a difference, but two or three is good. I like two. It just makes the yellow a lot brighter and more vibrant. You can see the difference between this lemon wedge here and, and the lemon in here. This one's a lot more vibrant. I'm being careful around the eyes not to get any, I almost said not to get any lemonade in them. <laughs> not to get any yellow in them. I think after this drawing, I'm gonna go and make a pitcher of lemonade. Have you ever drank pink lemonade? I don't like it as much as the regular stuff. Oh, and you can also make like a, a lemonade, but with limes. It's called a limeade. And that tastes good too. It's green, just like limes. You can definitely see the difference between two layers and one layer. Doesn't two layers look much better? I'm turning my pencil. And you know, when you do layers, you don't have to press hard because the color will come off just and fill everything in. And if you're not happy with how it looks, you just go in and put a third layer. Okay, I'm going to be careful not to get any yellow into the tongue. Even though I'm sure he would like to taste some lemonade hair. <laughs> Don't forget to turn your pencil.
All right. Now, when you get to the lemon, that little spot here, don't do a second layer there, okay? Leave that with just one layer. I want that to look a little different. I want that little spot to look lighter than the lemon. Because like I said, it's supposed to look like a bit of a highlight, you know, if, if the light is on and pointing at the lemon. There's always a little spot that's that looks like a little bit of a highlight just to make it look interesting. Don't forget to turn your pencil. few areas that I think need a third layer just because they might look a little whiter than the rest but I'm just doing it really really quickly all right I think that's looking pretty good so far are you guys doing okay what do you think do you like what you're doing Okay, so let's take our pink color and let's color in the tongue pink. I think pink and yellow look really nice together. If you have red or purple, that'll look nice with yellow too. I'm going to go in and put a second layer in right away. I want that pink to be really, really pinkish and vibrant. That looks good. Okay, now I'm going to take my green color and I'm going to color in the leaf. I used to have a lemon tree, which is weird because I live in I live in Canada and I had a lemon tree. It was in a pot and uh, it was hard to keep it going because it was it's so cold here but uh, the first year it gave me four lemons I'm just gonna go in and put in a second layer of green as I'm talking the second year it gave me nine lemons and the third year it didn't make it it was just too cold I, I kept it inside in winter but we didn't have much sun that third winter and it didn't make it, which is too bad, but I was really happy I had a lemon tree. I should try to get another one and see if I can get some lemons out of it here. Okay, so that's done. Now, I'd like you to take your black color. If you've got a marker, you can use a marker or you can use a black coloring pencil or if you don't have any of those just use your pencil or a crayon whatever you like and I'm gonna go and I'm going to outline the eyes okay with black and I'm going to outline that inside oval and color it in black I love these big eyes. There we go. Same thing for the other eye. Just outline it with black. We're just doing this to make it stand out. And the pupil as well. And fill in that pupil with black. Can you hear Jack snoring? I don't know if you can't. He's so loud. There we go. Okay, so now 
what I want to do is I'm going to, I'm actually going to outline the whole thing. I never used to do that before, but I just love how it looks. So I'm going to very carefully go over the entire drawing with black. Like I said, I really love how it looks. I'm going to be careful. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I'm doing it. takes a steady hand and it's really good practice and you know what you can always do like I'm gonna do here I'm gonna show you I took my marker and I went a little over so there's some white showing so what you can do is just go in and fill in a little yellow you can always do stuff like that you know but this is good practice for drawing. And it teaches you to be careful and think about detail. Whew. I was nervous with that one. I don't know why. Okay, I'm going to go and do the whole glass here. Oops. I went outside the line a little. That's okay. And while I'm on this side, why don't I outline his happy hands? <laughs> All right, I'll do this side. Stopping at the lemon and outline that happy hand. Don't forget the liquid mark. And why don't we do his mouth and his tongue. And I think I'm gonna give him some cheeks. To give cheeks, you just do little semicircles like this at the top of the mouth and it makes it look like he has cheeks. How about some eyebrows? There. <laughs> now I'm going to go and outline the rest. The only thing I'm not going to outline is that little lighter spot there. you want you could have added a few little lines like that for the leaf what do you think guys doesn't that look cute how's yours looking I hope yours looks cute too that was a lot of fun now don't forget I want you to sign your work always sign your work take take credit for what you've done you've created a beautiful work of art here and I want you to be proud of yourself I hope you enjoyed this lesson, my friends. And remember, mom and dad, if you post your kids' art on Instagram, please don't forget to tag me. The link is in the description below and in the About section of my channel. So we'll see you next time on Alphabet Soup, my friends. Thanks again for watching. Bye.